Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, when my ummah will accept as lawful five things, then destruction will become upon them. Number one, cursing and insulting and swearing. Very normal now. Husband and wife curse each other all the time. Very normal. They curse their friends. They curse... Now they just say it very easily on the internet. There's symbols and there's... Uh, I don't want to say them, but it's very normal. People laugh about it. Ha 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 ha, oh, you're such a... And bang. The worst of words. Alcohol drinking becomes normal. Wearing silk for men. This is a metaphor. It can either mean physically they wear silk, which because it's haram for men to wear silk. But what it means figuratively is that men will imitate women a lot. Rasulullah said, and women will imitate men as well, of course. He also said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the ummah will hire dancing women in their functions, in restaurants, in weddings, and so on and so forth. And number five, men serve their sexual desire with men, women serve it with women. Then we have gay imams now. I say imam, not sheikh, because imam means a leader a destructive leader. Rasulullah is highlighting that it will be among the ummah of Rasulullah among the Muslims. Today I'm going to give you one tip for Ramadan and that is istighfar, seeking Allah's forgiveness. The Prophet Sallallahu used to seek Allah's forgiveness more than 70 times a day. So at Fajr time, when you wake up, before you go to sleep, say to yourself, I'm going to say astaghfirullah 70 or 100 times. A great Imam by the name of Imam Hassan al-Basri was asked, what is there better to do? To make istighfar or to do more acts of worship? And he said, well, if you have a garment that is very dirty, would you wash it first or decorate it with perfume and make it look good? They said, no, wash it first, then decorate it. So wash yourselves from the sin and then in the rest of the day, decorate yourself with worship. Start with istighfar, end with istighfar. My brothers and sisters, the doors of heaven are open. It is a struggle and a strive for every Muslim to be able to achieve this noble character of being able to be satisfied with what Allah has given them and to realize the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon each individual and upon us as a society and upon us as a human race. Allah subhana ar-Rahman ar-Rahim the most merciful to all mankind or the humans, or the world, the giver of mercy to specific people as well. He has not left anyone out except that he has given blessings to them. We call this ni'mah. And every single one of us here, every single individual, every old and every young, has got so many blessings that if you were to try to count them, really, and you thought about them, You'll not be able to finish counting them at all.